Hello everybody and welcome to another showcase video for, our, well, a ranking video. And last time we did both the carnivores and herbivore videos, which hopefully those are doing well. As of recording this, only the uh, herbivore one is out and the carnivore one should be coming the next day. But for today's video, we are going to be looking, as you can see, at all eight aquatics and since there's only eight and normally we do top tens what we're gonna do is actually just rank these guys from worst to best from the attenborough source all the way down to the tylosaurus and i want you guys to leave your rankings in the comments because i'd love to see how different they are and if you disagree with mine let me know why because i'd love to see maybe you can persuade me on these because while the aquatics are awesome to be like having they're not really used as much anymore like already we've only had this game for five months but i've seen a lot of people say they don't really use the aquatics because they don't really add anything anymore other than just the sounds which i i can agree with unfortunately but i like to use them and we're gonna be ranking them all and like what we did with the herbivores and carnivores i will be presenting them with my favorite skins and also giving some positives and negatives about all of them to try and lighten the mood. So, let's start off with the bottom number 8, which is unfortunately Tylosaurus. Ty well, that was a nice roar, actually. Now, Tylosaurus does actually have some interesting colors when you look at them. Like, I like this um, blue one. Same with this one, actually. Mangrove Forest and Amazon Rainforest. Well, mangrove forest, not mangrove. I love the way the blue is at the bottom. And what's this one? Ooh, okay. Maybe th these pr are probably my three, like, for the base skins, actually. Because they actually are ones that look vibrant in the water. Which is a little issue. Because a lot of the times the water just looks extremely, like, foggy. And really, when you want to have aquatics in your game, you shouldn't make the water, like, so foggy that you can't tell the difference between your dinosaurs. And for um, patterns, I would say my favorite, like for this guy, would probably be um, Felioflax, because it just really s blends in, even though this one's supposed to be a pink and this is a red, but they actually blend in really nicely. And it actually, you can really see the pattern. Now, the reason this guy's at the bottom is two reasons. While he does have some amazing skins, unfortunately, he doesn't have the best of appearances if we just look at these bizarre teeth in this mouth but he still is awesome i still like him but i just think he doesn't have the best appearance when it comes to the aquatics we have in the game also maybe my second reason is kind of my nostalgia self liking the one from jurassic park the game even though we don't none of us really like that game we all could agree it would be awesome to see that version of this guy in the game it could have been in the dlc or something maybe a little update they could have added it as a skin but unfortunately tylosaurus ranks at the bottom and number seven which breaks my heart is the mosasaurus now now mosasaurus it's the one we all were loved with. I fell in love with it the moment I saw it in the first trailer, and then seeing that poster as a kid when I was like, I think it was 11 years old when I saw that um, first poster with the kid reaching out onto the, touching the glass, and you saw the most source like swimming straight towards that great white shark. Oh my god, the most source won us all over we we just want more of it like if we look at how fallen kingdom did like everybody agreed that we wanted more mosasaurus and dominion looks like we will be getting it we've definitely got one big scene dedicated to it that we've seen but unfortunately for the mosasaurus the reason why it's so down is the skins well as you can see they all look sort of um dull in a way I don't mean to be rude about it, but unfortunately, while these skins look different, as you can see, each one of them looks quite different. If we go to the pattern colors, right now it's on Rana. Yeah, you can barely see, like, especially for Falio Flanks and Rana, they, there's barely any difference. Like, this is it with a pattern, this is it with it without. And unfortunately, 
in the foggy water, you can't even see these patterns. And it's not just like this skin, it's all of them. Like, for example, if we go with this one, on all these skins, they don't really stand out. Like, this might be an exception, the Yukon River, but other ones, the patterns don't really stand out. And even if they did, unfortunately with the most source, I don't know what it is, but when in the water, all the skins have this pastely yellow look. I don't know why it is. Like, maybe it's just something with the game and the way the water makes it look. But these colors, they all have the same issue when in the water. Unlike with pretty much every other aquatic, they all look the exact same. Who knows, maybe they could add more skins in the future to improve this guy. But unfortunately, Mosasaurus, while we love him in the movies, in the game, he's just... He just doesn't have that spirit that we love, but still, it's awesome to have, and it's massive, so if you want the massive one, you go for him, and I like the way that it attacks all the other aquatics, like, I think the only thing that can really actually fight back against him is probably the Tylosaurus, actually, I have seen that. But, I don't know, maybe Chronosaurus could actually go after him? I could, I don't think so, but who knows. But, moving on to number, uh, what's it, six? Yeah, six, is the Plesiosaurus, which kind of surprised me, too, that it was lower. I think it's just because I, well, like, actually, no, I'm going to change that, actually, no. Below Ichthyos, below Plesiosaurus is actually going to be Ichthyosaurus, and the reason why is because... I don't know. I like the look of it. It looks like an ichthyosaurus, but I just, I don't know. I don't really use it too much. Maybe that's why it's so low. Like, I use the plesiosaurus, like, almost all the time compared to this guy. And the skins, while they are really great, I like, actually, for my favorite. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, it's definitely either this one... No, not that one. It's definitely either Mangrove Forest or Amazon Rainforest because, again, those two skins are just great. And for this one, I think, yeah, like, look at that. That is a beautiful skin. Mangrove Forest and Fellow Flax. This guy's got great skins. I just think that I don't use them a lot. My ranking on this guy will probably change in, like, the future if I use them a lot more. But right now, he's just a little lower. Only thing I could complain about is... I don't like the eye, really. It looks kind of soulless, actually. It has no movement to it, which I think all of them don't move, like none of the aquatics do, but I don't know. There's just something soulless, like that shadow right there on that part of the eye. It's always there at the bottom, and I don't know. Maybe if he had a more pupil like he did in Walking with Dinosaurs, maybe that would help it, but I don't know. I don't know. It just... It's kind of too soulless for me compared to the others. The others show, like, a bit of emotion. This guy just looks neutral. But, speaking of, um, where we were, who was originally going to be in this place, Ichthyosaurus is now six, but number five is the... Well, not number five, you know, next one on the list is the Plesiosaurus, which, really, these two could change for me, but my only negative for this guy is actually the face. It's really snake, too snake-like, which isn't the biggest issue. I actually was surprised that it looked like this, but I think I just prefer the more marine look that it had in like something like Walking with Dinosaurs. You know, a seal, sort of face like a seal, but you know, it was a genuine surprise for it to have this snake-like appearance, so it's both a negative and a positive for me. And the skins, definitely this guy's got some good ones. I would say we would go probably to Amazon Rainforest again. And Rana is actually not bad. But I would say for him, Felioflax, this would probably be my favorite. I like the way that the scales sort of scatter the pattern on the top. Like you see, it's not actually lined up. Which is something I wish we had more for the patterns. It only seems to be with this guy. All the other patterns, including with dinosaurs and pterosaurs, they all just have like a formula to it. But this guy, you can actually see the, the pattern actually scatter with the scale. They have a little bit of a consistency, but I still do like it. Now, moving on to the next one, which is the Lyplerodon, which, while not looking too great in my opinion, I actually... 
maybe it's again it's probably my walking with dinosaurs love because that one was just so beautiful and like even other games have stolen it. i remember um the game beaver when he was playing fish feed and grow he was playing as the chronosaurus but it had the pattern that was exactly like the like pleurodon from walking with dinosaurs now this guy unfortunately while it's awesome to have like pleurodon he's really crocodile-like. Like, he looks like a crocodile just with flippers instead of feet, which isn't a big issue. It just kind of makes me want to see a giant prehistoric crocodile like maybe Sarcosuchus or Dinosuchus, just to name two of the most popular. But this guy, with skins actually, again, he's really good. And it's sad, because like, all these skins for these other aquatics, they are actually really good. But for when the water's extremely foggy, you don't really see these beautiful colors, which for me, I would say, again, it's Amazon Rainforest, and where is it? No, it's not. It's... No, it wasn't Amazon Rainforest with this one. Where was it? I, uh, I remember... Nope, I think it was... Yeah, this one. This one was my favorite for both pattern and skin, but my favorite base skin is definitely still Amazon Rainforest. Where is it? There it is. I like the blue texture, and it still works with this one. Just this one has it more vibrant. So, yeah, this is like my favorite one to use, for sure. And, well, maybe I'll still use him a lot more, but still, I just wish that he looked a little less crocodile-like. Maybe, who knows? We don't know what other aquatics we'll get in the future. And now we're in the top three, which third place goes to probably one that surprises a lot of people, Elasmosaurus, which, fun fact, apparently he was going to appear in Dominion, or at least him or Plesiosaurus. It's confusing, like, there's some reports that are saying it was Elasmosaurus, some was saying that it was Plesiosaurus, but apparently the other aquatic was actually cut from the film, which is a little unfortunate. I would have loved to see what this guy or Plesiosaurus would have looked like, but here we go. Number three, a controversial pick I know, Pleat is the Elasmosaurus, which I know a lot of people don't like the way the head is. I actually, I actually really like it. It's a nice mix of like beautiful body, but then you get to the face and it's like, okay, this thing may be beautiful when swimming, but you don't want to get on its bad side. Kind of reminds me of that concept art actually for Return to Jurassic Park, that canceled TV show where it was supposed to be a plesiosaurus, I know, but I like the way that it makes this guy beautiful and threatening. Only complaint for this guy, probably, I would say, is the eye, because it's just one color, which, you know, it kind of, it doesn't even have a pupil, but gives it a zombie appearance. So, you know, if you want a zombie guy aquatic, this is your guy, but... For regular ones, it's kind of a little bit of a downer. Now, when it comes to the best skin, I would say that, actually, this guy's probably got some of the best, like, my favorites. Like, I would say either Mangrove Forest or uh, Amazon Rainforest and Gambia. Like, I love this sunburnt look. It, it really does look like a dragon. Like, you could just imagine this orange being, like, the fire building up in its breath. And my dog is just wandering around. She's probably going to try and bark at someone walking on the road. Miss Moo, Miss Moo, no barking, please. I'm recording. I know you want to. I know they're in your space, even though apparently you own the entire street. But that's just a minor detail. Just please, no barking. Grumbles, maybe. Barks, no. But yeah, my favorite would actually be this. And you don't even really need a pattern on this, which... Oh, yep. Yeah. So, like, this is it without a pattern, which, ooh, looks really smooth, actually. Well, not really smooth, but smooth. I would say my favorite pattern on this guy would probably be Felioflex, because it sort of breaks it up and sort of combines it, actually. Like, this, they look relatively separate, but this, it actually sort of pulls them together and sort of makes them... It kind of reminds me of land, actually, if you pretend, like, the base skin is water, and you look at it the way that it flows between the patterns. I don't know, just a little eye catcher for me. This guy, I love, know it's controversial, but, you know, what are you gonna do? And 
Number two is the latest addition for the Aquatics in the early Cretaceous DLC that came out in December? Yeah, it was December. The Chronosaurus, which... Yeah, this guy was a welcome surprise for sure for everybody. Like, he looks he looks beautiful, actually, especially for a medium slash large size aquatic. I love the way the mouth looks, the head, the whole body, and he's actually got like some awesome skins. Like, look at this Quillian Mountains, Yukon River. Well, Quillian Mountains is better. It sort of just is the same, just takes white for yellow. Then you got Silbrad. Amazon Rainforest, again, Mangrove Forest, like this guy, you can have any skin, but if we actually go, think it was to here, oh my god, look, what, what was that? Okay, well, I've never seen this, I haven't actually used this guy with patterns, but look at that eye. Okay, another bonus. Well, if we go onto this, this skin is probably many people's favorite for this guy, which, again, like I mentioned about Fish Feeding Bro, this reminds you of walking with dinosaurs. Like, you could literally label this as, like, Pluridon and just ignore the name Chronosaurus, and you'd be perfectly fine. Because this looks like the one that was... Except for, you know, the model's a little bit different, I won't lie. Just a little bit. But still, I would say, apart from this, which is just nostalgia, I would say my favorite has to be... Where is it? Would have to be Quillian Mountains, actually. With... No, it's not that. I think it's... Yeah, it is um, Lithiobates. This one was a surprise to me. I love the way the green kind of has this um, very poisonous feel. It kind of makes me think that this guy is poisonous, because he's got some bright colors. But, yeah, this skin is one of the best in the water, even when it's foggy. Like... Chronosaurus, like, in the water, this is the guy that you want to pick if you want to have him in foggy water. Because, like, I don't know what it is. These skins just, like, burst out. But, number one for me, which might just be because of the name, is Attenborosaurus. Although... And there's my second reason for loving him. The calls. This is the one that I can literally just sit down, put my remote down, turn my headphones up to the point where I can't hear anything else, and I just want to listen to this guy. He's got the most beautiful of calls in the game for the aquatics, and for skins, he's actually... He is alright, actually. I would say he doesn't have, like, the top skins, especially for these ones, but I would say my favorite... Whoa, this is Amazon Rainforest? I like how it shows pink, but it's actually a very dark green. I would say it would be either this one, actually, another Amazon Rainforest, or where was... which one was it? Yeah, it would be Gambia Rainfor Gambian River Basin, with... Um, for patterns, I would say is actually the Chakurana. This would probably be my favorite, and Chakurana also does work with... Um, this actually looks a lot better with that. Yeah, this one, it reminds me of the Indoraptor, actually. You know, the golden stripe going down. Except it actually has more stripes than Indoraptor. But yeah, this guy, he is my favorite of all of them. And actually, you know, I should have turned that off. Look at that. I'd love to see, like, different animations of them. But unfortunately for this, it only shows them either swimming at fast speeds or not. I'd love to see like sort of attack animations and stuff. I don't know. Maybe they could add that in the future for this, but I don't know. But that is my ranking of this. I know some controversial picks like the most source being, ugh, excuse me, the most source being second last and um, Elasmosaurus being third, like everybody, I don't know, just this my ranking, it can still change, and in the next video, guys, we will be doing the pterosaurs, which are a lot more fun, trust me, but still, what are your guys' favorites for this? Do you agree with me for number one being the Attenborosaurus, which also, haven't seen yet the, um, David Attenborough series, um, Prehistoric Planet, apparently the first episode's out, so, 
gonna I'm looking forward to watching that. But anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this aquatic showcase of the rankings, that was a terrible like sort of outro. If you let's try that again. If you've enjoyed the aquatic showcase and ranking, leave a like please. I'd appreciate that. And we are just about to hit um 2,700 subscribers, so hopefully by the end of the month we can reach the goal of 3,000. That is the hope. And until next time, remember to subscribe to help us get to that goal. Until next time, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye bye